you're healing, you might as well stay in your seat. Come on. Because God works in faith. Do you love the Lord tonight? Yeah. What are you struggling with? What is keeping you from going forward? What is keeping you from trusting God? What is keeping you from working your faith tonight? What is it? I don't want to know. But I tell you what, you need to bring it to God. Yes, you do. And if you need prayer tonight, we're going to get these believers together here. We're going to pray, lay hands on you, and we're going to pray. And you're going to get some deliverance tonight from these things. Amen. If you're sick or tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired, guess what? Now it's time to move. It's time to move and let God be God. I know God didn't bring this for no reason. I know I didn't fight the devil over it for no reason. I know God wants to do something tonight. Don't be ashamed of God. Don't be ashamed if you got problems. Because let me tell you, we all got problems. We ain't none of us in here perfect. The Bible says to strive to be perfect. But ain't none of us perfect. The only perfect man was Jesus. So tonight, if you're here, as we have an altar call. I'm so proud of this young man right here. They said he got filled with the Holy Ghost. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I want to see our youth go with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will keep you. That is just so awesome. I heard he sings, and he's going to sing in a little while. God is just good. I love to see it when God is using these young people. Dylan blesses my heart every time. I tell you, he makes me want to get up and run and shout because just because God, you can see the, the, the Holy Ghost all over. You can see God in Dylan. But tonight, if you're here and you're struggling, tonight you're not. Tonight you're not if you're struggling with every head bowed and every eye closed tonight. Tonight I want to ask the question, is there anyone lost in the house tonight? Is, there, is the Lord knocking at your door tonight? You see, you don't need to leave the same as you came. When God's knocking at your door, you need to surrender. But if you're struggling tonight, I'm going to ask you to do something by faith. I'm going to ask you to get up out of your seat and come to the altar tonight. Bring it to God. You, you might be struggling. In your, the Word was about waiting and, 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 and faith and be impatient tonight. So if you have something you're struggling with, I'm going to ask you to come to this altar tonight. Don't come because I'm asking you, but come because you're expecting something from God tonight. You're expecting Him to move in a situation that, that, that you've been troubled with for so long. You're expecting Him to do it because you can't do it. You can't do nothing without God. But I'm going to tell you, He can take the impossible and make it possible. If you're having trouble, seems like trouble's on every side, every way you turn. Bring it to God tonight. Bring it to God. Let Him work. Let Him do it. If you need a healing in your body, I'm going to ask you to step out of your seat and come forward tonight if you need a touch from God. See, it's faith that moves God. It's going to take some faith for you to take that step tonight. To move out of your seat and come up and get a healing from God. I believe God can heal. And I believe God's going to do it. But you got to believe too. Somebody needs to obey the Lord. The devil will sit there and talk you right out of your blessing. He'll sit there and tell you, don't go up there. Everybody's going to know what's going on in your life if you go up there. It don't matter what's going on in your life. 
And if they're a Christian, they're not going to judge you no way. I know the Lord is dealing with somebody. And I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm not going to beg you. Thank you, Lord, for that obedience right there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all women that, that believe in prayer, get them up here and pray for these young ladies. There's somebody else in the house tonight you're struggling. Oh, hallelujah, I feel the Holy Ghost. I know you're struggling. You need to come and give it to God. Give it to God tonight. He didn't bring this word for no reason. He brought it to help you. He brought it to help you.
my mind Just can't understand How you know Would ever take my hand
whether your heart's upon Him or it's upon the things of this world. Amen. You can't hide anything from Him. Amen. He sees, hears, and knows all things. Amen. He's a wonderful God. Amen. And I'll guarantee you tonight He loves you. Amen. He loves you every bit of your life. Now, that don't mean He loves everything that you do. Amen. But He loves what He created. And He knows that He knows that He knows that you're able to perform that which He's called you to do. So why don't you do it? Amen. Why don't you go outside these doors and be the minister that God's called you to be. Amen. Let's see the church houses begin to fill up again. Amen. Let's do our part. God will always do it. Yes. Amen. He's a good God. Now tonight, for the one in here tonight that's been warned, amen, or two or three, whoever you might be, amen, I just want to encourage you there's something in your life that's keeping you from being who God's called you to be. Amen. It's up to you to lay it at His feet. Amen. I feel firmly that someone in here is letting something hold them back. Amen. I said you're letting it hold you back. Amen. Whether it's because you want to humble yourself or whether you like it too much to give it up. You know, there was one that said, well, Lord, I've been doing all these things since my youth. I've been doing them all, Lord. He said, well, just sell all that you have and come and follow me. And he wouldn't do it. Is that you tonight, amen? Are you the one that won't lay it down and pick up the cross and follow Him like He wants you to. I'm telling you, amen. You can't do it within yourself, amen. You might get through this old world, but you'll never make heaven your home that way, amen. The only way you can do that is through Jesus Christ. We love you tonight. We appreciate the Word tonight. Sister Sandra did a wonderful job. Give her an award. Appreciate Sister Janelle's folks. Appreciate y'all coming out. Anytime y'all don't have church, you know you're welcome here. We appreciate you coming. Appreciate Dallas and Justin. Alex and his wife. Amen. Appreciate them. Appreciate every one of you for coming out and fellowshipping tonight. Amen. Let's go outside these doors, amen, and tell a lost and dying world about Jesus, amen. Invite them to church. And for God's sake, live the life that God's called you to live before them, amen. You know, we can allow ourselves to be a blessing in this world or we can be a curse. We can see people come to know the Lord or we can keep people from coming to the Lord. Our actions speak louder than words. Let's be the children of God God's called us to be. Amen. You're having trouble with that. Let me tell you God's the answer. Amen. He said if you'll draw nigh to Him, He'll draw nigh to you. Is there anybody else here tonight? Say, Brother Derek, I need prayer. Before we close this service, anybody feels the need of prayer before we leave? Amen. Pray for the Lord.
stiff down there they're the only one. Amen. Your legs got weak, you feel all alone. Oh, you need more God. Father God should not go. God, we ask you, God, to just touch, saturate air to God with your presence. God, let her know, God, that she's not alone, but God, that you're there with her, God. God, help her, God. Build her faith, God. Open her spiritual eyes and her spiritual ears, God. Help her to hear and to see you, God. God, it will bring the glory. For God, you're the reason, God, that you keep care of you. It's all because of you, God. God, they sit here, God. It's nothing of her, God. She doesn't want to be. But you call her to me, God. And I ask you tonight, God, to touch and strengthen her, God. God, spiritually, physically, and financially, God. For your blessings out upon her in Jesus' name. And her love for you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you to become stronger. Thank you. Each day that she lives in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. 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 I think James is what to say. James? Oh, James, you going to sing for us tonight? Come on, all you children want to sing. Come on up, amen. Give me one of you. Y'all want to sing? Come on. Yes. Come on, y'all can come. Dylan, you want to help them? We they need somebody to care to you. Come on. We're going to sing, Jesus loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You ready, James? Jesus loves me. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.